All right, Logan, last time we checked in, you were doing the final touches on the battery box for the Lotus 7 build. How did that go for you? Uh, it went pretty smooth. Uh, we, I just had to you know, lay out all the holes and get the top mounted, and uh, I think it turned out well. And so tell me what just happened here. Well, we, uh, we lifted the, the battery box with our cherry picker and kind of dropped it in the chassis. This is a, like a test fitment right now. Make sure everything lines up. Uh, we've got our rear mounts down there already kind of uh, nut serted, but we still have to drill out a bunch of holes along this front top edge uh, just to finalize the, the mounting and get everything you know, secure. Did you but, have to use any like dampers or rubber to kind of make sure it's not going to move around when you drive or is the bolting it down good enough? The bolting it down is, is good enough. We have a little bit of rubber under the front feet under the battery box because we're not bolting those in place. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it should be really rigid. It shouldn't move. We're kind of tying this entire front section into the, uh, the chassis where it was triangulated. So uh, it should be really rigid and, and uh, happy in there. We also, when we were designing the box, we set these up so that they're uh, just on either side of the center of mass. So it makes it really nice for us to just be able to lift this up and not really have to worry about it tilting or doing anything un unwieldy. Oh, sweet, sweet, smart design. What's going to happen next after you guys kind of get the fitment down? Uh, well, my next step is I'm going to start doing the uh, kind of first run through of the electrical system, pulling all the electrical components out and getting everything hooked up so that we can hopefully be driving by the end of next week. That's my goal. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks for letting us check in, Logan. Happy Friday, and we'll check back in next week.